In spite of the impressive development of deep learning in recent decades, code start problem keeps becoming a stubborn obstacle in many tasks. Typically, the data scarcity is the major cause of the code start problem, and the help by refining model structure is limited. In this paper, we focus on elevating the code start problem with the embedding module in CTR prediction model in online advertising. The embedding module determines the input distribution of the subsequent feature interaction module and MP and MLP module. Thus, it is crucial to provide reasonable embeddings for users and eyes with few or no support samples. However, the traditional point estimate suffers from the overfitting problem because of the only similarity objective supervision introduced by a collaborative filtering mechanism. In this paper, we propose a general variational embedding learning framework, VELF, for elevating the severe cost out problem in CTR prediction. VELF addresses the cost start problem via elevating overfits caused by data sparsity in two ways, a learning probabilistic embedding and incorporating trainable and regularized queries, which utilize the rich set information of code start users and uh, as the two techniques are naturally integrated into a variational inference framework forming an end-to-end -end training process now we're here to describe the training implementation details of VELF, which is illustrated in Figure 2. Uh, during the training stage, the posterior distribution parameters are computed from feature ID with DNS, and the prior distribution parameters are computed from the attributes of feature ID with DNS. The latent embedding of users and eyes are sampled from the estimated posteriors via reparameterization trick, and the final input embedding V from the discre uh, from the discriminative model are obtained by uh, concatenating the embeddings of user I context and attributes of a user and I. Our objective function includes two terms. The first term is the log loss, trying to maximize the likelihood to improve the confidence of prediction. The second term tries to find the approximate posterior distribution by minimizing the key out divergence. The key out divergence term can be viewed as regularization, and we introduce the parameter alpha to control the trade-off between how well the model can fit the data and how close the approximate posterior is to the prior and is to the prior distribution during training. To reduce the time consuming for selecting alpha, we start with zero and gradually increase alpha to one following the annealing method. To make better use of the global information, we make predictions using the centers of uh, the estimated post reels and the parameterized appraisals. The centers of uh, the parameterized appraisals are used to make up for the unreliable post reels of the awful infrequent or new IDs. We conduct experiments with the aim of answering the following three research questions. Question 1. How does VLF perform? 
compared to the existing cost of methods from the perspective of embedding. Question two, how does VLF ever perform when plugged into various network backbones? And question three, what are the effects of distribution estimate, parameterized and regularized pairs in VLF? Our experiments are conducted on three publicly available data sites to better evaluate the performance of our VLF to elevate the cost of problem. We prepare five different test sites, including randomly sampled test sites, new users, new items, infrequent users, and infrequent items. The corresponding definition for each test site and the statistics of the three data sites can be found in these two tables. We divide our baselines into two groups based on their methods. The first group contains state-of-the-art approaches for dealing with the coastal problem. Um, drop a night is a famous coastal approach that uses the average representations of interacting items to improve atom representations. MWF introduces miter shifting. Uh, miter scaling and the shifting networks to construct scaling and shifting functions for each item. With the scaling function directly transforming code atom ID embeddings into one feature space and the shifting function producing stable embeddings from noisy embeddings. The second group includes um, the common feature crossing techniques developed for overall recommendation. And the second group serves as a baseline so without code start elevating component, as well as backbones to test the generalization and um, adaptability of our, uh, of our proposed VLF, uh, including deep FM, uh, wide and deep, DCN, and, and X deep FM and PNN. We compare VLF with the state of the art methods to elevate the coastal problem from the perspective of embedding learning. Um, and VLF outperforms all the baselines on three data sites. The results confirm the effectiveness of VLF to elevate the coastal problem in CTR prediction. To further evaluate the generalization of VLF, we compare VLF with Drop of the Night and MWF in another four different popular network backbones. The same as Drop of the Night and MWF, VLF can be adapted to any network backbones by replacing the user and atom embedding module. The experimental results indicate that the LF can constantly achieve the best performance with various base models. Also, we demonstrate the advantages of our proposed distribution estimate, parameterized and regularized prayers in the LF in application study. Now we come to a conclusion. Um, in this paper, a general version of meta learning framework, VLF, is proposed to improve the generalization ability and the robustness of embedded learning for co-start users and eyes in online advertising. VLF regards the embedding learning as a distribution estimate process, and the embedding learning of co-start users and eyes can benefit from statistical strengths among the global users and eyes in VLF. Um, our parameterized and regularized prayer mechanism can further uh, surprise overfitting problems. Mm, the embedding distribution and the discriminative CTR prediction network parameters 
are learned end to end without strict requirements on extra training data or training stages. That's all. Thanks for listening.